Hello and welcome, my name's Tyrone and I'm gonna show you how to interrupt people and actually have them like it at the same time. Cause I'm just that cool. I got all the moves and everybody wants to be like me. Hi, welcome to Let's Chat. My name is Ty and I believe I can talk to anyone about anything and so can you. So there are people out there who are really passionate about the things that they believe and when you try to have conversations with them and they don't let you get a word in edgewise, it can be really frustrating. I know I've had conversations sometimes that put me in really awkward situations where I'm waiting to get a word in but I don't know how to do it because the person is just so passionate about the thing that they're talking about that maybe sometimes they don't even remember the question that I was asking them. What's a good method for me to figure that out? Science. Science? Yeah. Katie, what do you think? Um, I, she's more analytical as she pointed out. I'm, I'm much more interpretive of things and so I, I often lean more towards um, reading like, I love poetry, I love um, reading books, different stories, like things that you might not really know if they're true or not because I think that looking, sorry, what was the question again? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what can be done to productively get back into that conversation? I got three tricks that's gonna work for you and I guarantee it's gonna change the way how you've been interrupting people for the rest of your life, trust me. I won't lie to you. Step one. The first step's pretty simple. You just wanna make sure that you're a good listener. You wanna set a good example to follow for your interview partner so that when the conversation shifts back to you, they will be just as engaged as you were when you were listening to them. Show that you're an engaged and focused listener and they'll do the same thing right back to you. And that's the key to it. Everybody wants to be listened to. And so if you show that you're listening to the person that you're talking to, they'll show it right back to you. And it makes that interruption way more easier. But here's the real, here's the real secret. Step two. Look, it's, it, it is pretty simple. Everybody loves to be listened to, but nobody loves to be interrupted. So don't start your, your interruption by saying the I word, which is interruption. Don't be like, and then the mm -hmm. bad guy yeah. flew into the yeah. alligator yeah. pit. And it was okay, like yeah, but can kid. I interrupt you though? No. Can I, yeah, but can I can I interrupt you I'm real quick? Done. Can I interrupt you? Can done. I interrupt you, dog? I'm almost can done. Can I interrupt you, dog? I'm almost can done. Can I interrupt dog. you, dog? No. Can I interrupt you? No. So if you start an interruption, don't start it by saying the I word. Okay, the I word, right? Don't say don't say this word when you're gonna interrupt somebody. Step three. Oh, hold on first. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Yes. Yes, yes, I am very important. Step three. Step three, so instead of interrupting people by saying if you can interrupt them, try to summarize what they've said. Use that listening that you used in step one and summarize a point that they have made to show that you've been listening to them and then follow up with a question in your own right. And before you know it, you've already interjected yourself into the conversation. In fact, it's pretty simple. Here's some examples. Realizing that I have a right, I have a right and responsibility just like everybody else to work to transform the world for the better because what happened in Brazil is that frequently these farmers were told things like, you are poor because it's your fault, mm. because you don't work hard, because you're not very smart, because you're not educated, and yet they were kept in conditions. And his argument that, is you have rights because you want things to be better and you're trying to get Because them you're a human being. And just that by, makes you a human yeah, That's why he's choosing that vocabulary that's right. specifically. Yeah, that's right, because, yes, right. Mm -hmm. Does that, does, I feel like, I'm, gonna, I'm throwing this out. Please. That's a beautiful story, by yeah, the way. Yeah, good. But by saying, like, you're more human because the fact, or you are human because you want to do all these things. Mm -hmm. By defining it to an emotional need that oh, other people good, require, good, good. does that make it any more valid? For example, change it. But the principle of speed never changes because you take conscientious effort to follow that. So the principle is I'm minding the speed that I'm going at in concert with the people that are going around me so I don't have a bad impact on them. Right. And the laws will change because the laws this year will say 25, somewhere else it'll say 70, some other place it'll say 55. Mm -hmm. Just just on that principle idea, before we get back to like the main topic, mm -hmm. there are people who get in car accidents still from going too fast. True. Is the principle... circled my life around the like, belief that we have to take care of everyone in the younger generation to bring them forward so that they're all have a have a fair opportunity at have succeed. a fair opportunity you believe that everyone 
that we have the responsibility to give the next generation a fair opportunity to ex to succeed? Right. Okay, just want to make sure. That's it. What do you mean by fair opportunity? Taking from is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. So if, that if, didn't happen, if specifically that the Holy Spirit didn't happen, but all the other things I've seen have ha had happened, I would still believe. Because like, it would still believe at 100%? Yeah, because of... So it like, doesn't seem like Well, that's... there's also... So it's not just the Holy Spirit that's... Yeah. It's also like... So the power... Like, specifically the summer. Let's take that... Or back... I did a mission trip to India. Can I throw out something real quick? Can I throw out something? Yeah. It sounded like that you were saying that the personal experience you had with the Holy Spirit, whether it happened or whether it didn't happen, would still keep you at that 100% level of confidence, right? I mean, that... It would probably drop me to 99, let's say. It would there drop There might be... There might be a point zero 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 difference, that kind of thing. I'm not trying to take you. I'm not trying to tell you that you're wrong. I'm yeah, really no. just trying to see what got you to that hundred percent. Hey, I heard you like to travel. Uh, what are some of the places that you've been to? Oh man, dude, all over the world, man, all over the world. Virginia, Georgia, Tennessee, Florida, uh, Alabama, Arkansas. Whoa, did you see Arkansas? That's so cool, man. Have you been outside of America? Oh uh, yeah, man. I've been outside of America. I've been to. Canada, and that's it. <laughs> okay, let's review. Try to be a good listener. Listen to the person that you're talking to, show that you're engaged in what they're saying, and they will reciprocate back to you the same amount of attention that you are giving them. Lead by example and, be listen, and listen to what they're saying. Set a good foundation for what you wanna say during your interjection by showing that you're a good listener. And when you show that, that you're engaged, and that you're listening and that you're attentive to the words that your interview partner is saying, they'll reciprocate it back in kind. So lead by that example. Step two, don't say interrupt when you're about to interrupt somebody. Nobody likes that. Very simple. <laughs> Move it on. Step three, Summarize what you've listened to when you're ready to interject and then follow it up with a question that you've wanted to say as part of your way to move the conversation forward. So the whole goal of it is just to listen to the person, have that opportunity to hear what they're saying and throw in your own questions at the same time too. If you interrupt slash interject someone in this fashion, they will not only stop what they're saying to listen to you, but actually be really glad to hear someone pay attention to what they're saying, and be so en engaged with what they were saying that they'd actually be really happy to clarify whatever points you had and be happy to answer any questions that you had about the things that they were bringing up. This is a really great way to interject some and, and interrupt someone. It could be a positive interruption if we want to call it something. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you guys for <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, this is a weird thing that I'm doing in my living room right now. I have a really cool setup, and uh, I just want to let you guys know that I'm thankful for it. Um, the only reason why I have this is because of my Patreon supporters and everyone on YouTube and Reddit that helped to support me. Thank you so much, guys. Um, see you guys later. <laughs> I know. <laughs>